Why Senator Infai Uba said Nigerian governors are the ones sponsoring IPOP and ESN members. Some part of Nigeria is currently bedeviled by insecurity and it's quite disheartening to many concerned citizens of the country. In a recent interview, BBC News Pigeon correspondent had with Senator Infai Uba, he spoke about the atrocities committed by members of the indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network members. When asked on his opinion about the insecurity in Nigeria, the senator responded, alleging that all Nigerian governors are the ones sponsoring the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and members of the Eastern Security Network, ESN. In this, in this news, you will be provided with reasons why Senator Infai Uba says so. The first reason why the senator made that allegation was made clear by him. He noted that he members of the ESN and IPOP are not being supported by governors, they will not have the gut to operate across several states in Nigeria like they are doing presently. He opines that most Nigerian governors are to be held responsible and accountable for the insecurity situations in each state they govern. Number two, why second why Senator Patrick Infai Uba, the member of Young Progressive Party YPP, said governors are sponsors of insecurity is because most of them don't take the needful measures in curtailing insecurity. By this, I mean it is believed that when the governors take necessary precautions and are security conscious, the indigenous of their states would not get attacked. During the interview, Senator Infai Uba made mention on the fact that the recent attacks by the sessionists should be condemned. He said they had trying all possible efforts to sabotage the forthcoming election in the state. Senator Patrick Infai Uba urged that the forthcoming election in a number of states should be made peaceful and not sabotaged by IPOP or ESN members. He said the only thing that youth can do is to ensure they vote the right candidates into power. He pointed out that when the right politicians are voted into power, the youth will enjoy and avoid thinking about Nigeria's secession. Hmm. Guys, you've heard in the news what Infai Uba says that it is the governors in the southeast that are sponsoring the ESN and the IPOB. Well, I'm not going to talk or criticize any part of it, but hmm. Well, we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. We don't know who is supporting them and we don't know the person that is not supporting them. So let us watch what we say because what we say might also do something bad for us in the future. We are saying that it is the governors that are sponsoring the ESN and the IPOP. Why would they not sponsor them? Tell me. When the government we are in now is not helping the situation of the country. There is recession. There is for subsidy. There is a lot of things. Development is now going down. Like, let me even tell you something. Even inflation has overtaken the whole country. And why wouldn't they be supported when there's nothing good to show for you, us as the president? There's nothing you are doing. So please don't say, don't, don't abuse anybody that is supporting them because of the government is not doing anything to help the situation of this country. Why in the country, the, your, the full and new husband that are from by side, it not knows anything about him. He is he's, he's, um, rehabilitating them to join the Nigerian military. And why people from the south and southeast or the southwest or south south, you are not doing anything about it. You are not saying they will not be supported. When you are just looking, you are not doing anything. Please, 
Mr. Infayu, whatever you call yourself, please don't say or it's an opportunity to abuse anybody or criticize anybody that is the governors. The governors have to support them when the president is not doing what we want. This brings us to what people have said on social media about this news. Saboteurs, nothing good can ever come out of Uber family. They have sold us to their full and master. Uber families are the most wicked I've ever seen. Upon all their money and political positions, go to their community Uga. They are the poorest. As someone said, brother, U- brother, this is Uba from Niwi, not from Uga. Point of question, if I Uba is not from Uga, he is from Niwi. Someone even said, very soon, now he will deny it he is not what he meant. And someone also said, if I Uba has committed political suicide. She judge, is there any law forbidding suicide? And some said, in fact, Uber, already you are a big target and you will be down very soon as you have the mind to betray our leader. You will see it very soon. What happened to you last time by your police officer is a very small thing. This time you will go down and don't worry. I don't even know what this Uber is even saying. Like, you supposed to be supporting your people because of the, yeah, the situation of the country is in a bad state. You are not saying bad about your country. So at them, do not say at them, Obatu is part of all these people. So at, those are people that are that fight for their people. They are holy zeros and legend. And they will never be forgetting. I'm sure if you die today, you people are going to forget about you because you have not done anything to help the situation of the country. So now said, as a representative in the house, what efforts have you made to address the marginalization against the evils that prompted this agitation? You want to be a governor, Abby? Someone even said, you are talking now because your contesting is, is this coming election in Amaba State. Where were you when they invaded MNK house and killed almost 29 people? We didn't hear from you, allies of Igbos. But you look at Sunday Igbo, his, his people stood for him and went and got judgment for him. You Igbo elites are ones who push IPOP to come ESN using the blood of your people for politics. You people are our problems in Nigeria. Hmm. So many people are just abusing Infai Uba about what he has said and I'm not even happy with what he has said. He's meant to support his people not because of he wants to win the hearts of other people. He can't even win the hearts of other people in the election. He can't win the hearts of other people because of they have already broken their hearts as of what you have said. They have broken their hearts and it is very, 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 very bad of you. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section about what Infai Uba has said. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I will see you on the next news. Bye.